Welcome traders. In this video I want to go over a, another trading strategy that I created using Bloodhound to very quickly prototype and I just got done making a video on the density ratios so if you haven't seen that video on the density ratios you should probably want to look at that first. Okay so what did I do here? The basic idea behind this trading idea is that when we have a density ratio that is around 100 we are looking at some kind of accumulation or distribution. So the trading idea was this. I want two types of confirmation from the order flow and I did some prototyping on this using Bloodhound and changing the numbers around and the one that I ended up liking the best was a three range order flow that was then confirmed with a five range order flow. So that's what so what this looks like in Bloodhound is this. We're just looking for any five range volumetric bar down here and I'm looking for either the ZTP signal, the exhaustion signal, or the ratio signal here. And I've given it a look back of five bars telling it that once we have the five range volumetric, I want to look back at least five bars to see if I got at least one of these things here. And then of course we have the standard 932 1600 time block. So this is not a very difficult Bloodhound logic template to create. So the next thing I did was give it a two point stop and I again put the ZTP rotations on down here and I set the lines down here to seven points so that if we're approaching a seven point trade and we go over I didn't that was a trade that I did not want to take now I might have taken some that were directly at seven because they were in conjunction with a zone but all in all I wanted to avoid something that was above uh, seven to eight points so as you can see right here we had one trade that was exactly at seven went ahead and took it. Now the other thing that I did was I looked at the trade outcome and the trade outcome is important because that is now talking a little bit more about completing this as a working trading strategy and that's really the purpose of this video. When I give you a trading idea it is still up to you to go and create a trading plan for that idea. So what does that mean? Well I just went and I took a two point stop and that may or may not be the optimal value and the only way to find that optimal value is to put all these numbers in an Excel worksheet and do the math. But I took this test one step further because the test itself gave some outstanding number. The ratio was an outstanding 82.9%. And when you look at how many trades there were, there were 214 trades. That's an outstanding amount of available profit. The purpose of the, this video is not to make a video touting the winning percentage of Zontrade Pro. It's to help you develop a trading strategy using Zone Trader Pro. So what I did was I went and after creating all the wins and the losses, I went and used a feature on Zigzag ZTP to help me out to see what trades didn't get a full two points in profit. The indicator setup basically looks like this. We want to have the Zigzag ZTP set at 2.5 and here we have a value that says show distances so I want to click that and say show distances for the ZTP rotations we need to have a value of 11 the divergence signals aren't really going to play into this strategy because we already have talked about a strategy with the divergence signals 
but I put it on the chart just to give me an idea of how much better a divergence signal makes the trading signal. As you can see off here to the right, we had a distribution and that was good for six points. So this is again something that you would want to investigate to develop a profit target once you have a strategy. So with the chart a little bit cleaned up, here's what that's going to look like. Okay, the value we're looking for is this value that's printing down here. So here we had a trading signal. The number 2.75 means that from the apex here to the apex here, it went 2.75 points. Well, this was colored yellow then because what the strategy says is that we're going to have to wait six ticks to be able to confirm that. So if we have to wait at least six ticks to confirm that, we need a value of 3.5 or higher here to give us our fill. If we don't get that value of at least 3.5, that's when I turned the green circle into a yellow and then got our final statistics. So as you can see here, this trade right here got exactly 3.5. This trade here got 5.75 and from here this one got three and a half. Now what I didn't look at is a trade like this that only got three and a quarter so I had to give it a yellow color but then the trend continued and ended up being a winning trade. So that is something that was not looked into. This is something again that you would need to do to develop this as a trading strategy. Okay, so let's look at some numbers. And this would be a good time to remind everybody that past performance is not indicative of future results. So what I'm calling this trading strategy is the density ratio with the Bloodhound confirmation, three range with five range confirmation. And when we looked at all of the trades in the trading period, which was over 26 days, there was a total of 258 total trades. 214 were wins and 44 were losses, giving us a historical 82.9% win rate. But when we look at the number of scratches, the number of scratches takes us down to a 63.5% win rate because 50 of those trades were scratches. Now, I want to point this out because I think this is pretty important. The reason that we have the 82.9% number on the left hand side is that that's you being put on the correct side of the trade. Now, if we did take a scratch, that's fine. A scratch is a whole lot easier to deal with than a loss because all we're paying for is the cost of the trade. So I think that's really important to understand that roughly 83% of the time we are getting a trade that's going in our favor. So when we look at basically what would be the effective win rate, we'd have a total of 208 trades that was broken down into 164 wins and 44 losses, giving us an effective win rate of 78.8%. So now let's look at all the numbers. Out of our 258 total trades, with 164 wins, 44 losses, and 50 scratches, that gives us roughly $16,400 in profit if we take a two point profit on each trade and we take a full two point loss on each trade. I included in $900 in trade costs which was figured at $3.50 per round trip trade times the entire 258 total trades. So that would be about a $900 trading cost. And over the 26 day period, that would have brought in approximately $11,100 in the 26 trading days with that win rate of 78.8%. 
the exit. Again, I just kept it real simple and gave it a two point exit and a market order entry. And one of the things that I also observed and was looking at as a Blackbird template was to automate this so that the trade is taken automatically using Blackbird and then trying to get in with a limit order and thus saving an additional tick and saving an additional tick on over 250 trades is in itself going to be a substantial number. So that would be something that I would also look at if I were developing a full strategy to trade this with. And again, the optimal way I think to trade it is by using Bloodhound and Blackbird. So to set that up on a simple Blackbird strategy, this is what we would do. We would come up to here and we would tell it that we're looking for a Bloodhound signal. In this case, we're looking to the logic template for ZTP logic. We click over here and we have our ZTP logic template selected and the entry signal template would be the ZTP order flow confirmation 3 and 5R. We go ahead and select that and then just click outside the box and say OK. I, what I was doing was testing a limit entry. So I put a limit entry here and with a profit target we would come to here and we would put 8 for our long and negative 8 for our short and then for our stop loss we would come here and put a negative 8 for the long remember you have to reverse it and a positive 8 for the short and that would basically be our Blackbird template to go ahead and set that up and run a test. Okay, so here's what that would look like with everything on the chart and ready to go. We're going to have one problem with this in that it can't be executed fully automatically because the numbers that make up the density ratio cannot get picked up by Bloodhound at this time. They use the tick replay function, which is not compatible with Bloodhound. So basically what we would do is we would be sitting behind our computer and as price traded down here into the support zone we would see our ratio number here of 100 or greater. And then what we'd want to do is we would want to disable, we would want to come up to here and disable the short trade so that we could only take a long trade if we got the desired symbol. And basically we would be trading with both of these disabled because we wouldn't want to be making multiple entries. Once we got our entry we would go ahead and disable the, the long trade and then over on the right side of the chart there would be a chart trader so that you could go ahead and adjust a target or a stop depending on what you were seeing especially with the delta strength or if you saw a distribution or accumulation signal come up and come up against you. So you would use chart trader over here to adjust your trade. So that's one of the reasons why I personally wouldn't want to make this 100% fully automatic even if it was possible because I would want to go ahead and adjust a target and then adjust a stop after the entry and forming a new zone here. So that's basically how that would work with both Bloodhound and Blackbird. If you're interested in getting the Zone Trader Pro upgrade, the cost of that is $395. And you can find that on the lifetime license screen. If you currently don't have Shark Indicators, Bloodhound, and Blackbird. There is a combination deal on the two of them for $1,995. Or if you have one of them, the price is $795 for Bloodhound and $1,495 for Blackbird.
If you purchase one of the two, I will refund $100 towards the purchase of the Bloodhound upgrade, or if you purchase both, you'll receive a $250 discount if you purchase both using this Blackbird and Bloodhound option right here. So if you have any questions about purchasing or just any questions at all, please be sure to give me a call and thanks. Have a good day.